أقامت سفارة مملكة البحرين لدى المملكة المتحدة احتفالا بمناسبة العياد الوطنية لمملكة البحرين وذكرى تولي صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه مقاليد الحكم وذلك عبر الاتصال المرئي وبحضور عدد كبير من النواب واللوردات والمسؤولين في المملكة المتحدة والدول التي تغطيها السفارة إضافة إلى أصدقاء البحرين والمواطنين المقيمين والعاملين في بريطانيا في كلمته خلال الحفل أشاد معالي الشيخ فواز بن محمد الخليفة سفير مملكة البحرين لدى المملكة المتحدة بالمنجزات المحققة في مملكة البحرين منذ تولي حضرة عاهل البلاد المفدى لمقاليد الحكم كما تقدم السفير بشكره العميق لجميع من تقدم بواجب العزاء بفقيد الوطن الأمير خليفة بن سلمان الخليفة رحمه الله والذي كان داعما دائما لتعزيز العلاقات بين البلدين أشاد السفير بعلاقات الصداقة التاريخية المتينة بين البلدين وتطلعات القيادة في البلدين للبناء عليها مستقبلا كما أشار معالي السفير بأن مملكة البحرين قد قدمت نموذجا أشادت به الدول والمنظمات العالمية في مجابهتها لجائحة كورونا بفضل جهود فريق البحرين بقيادة صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء كما ألقى سعادة وزير شؤون الشرق الأوسط شمال أفريقيا في وزارة الخارجية والتنمية البريطانية كلمة تطرق من خلالها إلى العلاقات التاريخية بين البلدين الصديقين وتقدم بالشكر الجزيل للبحرين لما قامت به من تسهيلات في عملية إجلاء المواطنين البريطانيين في آسيا خلال فترة الجائحة لمح الوزير بأن العلاقات البحرينية البريطانية متميزة وقوية ويتم العمل دوما على تعزيزها بما يؤدي لمزيد من السلام والاستقرار في المنطقة وذلك بفضل الدور الكبير الذي تلعبه مملكة البحرين في هذه المجالات Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon I'm delighted to welcome you to this online celebration of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day 2020. Thank you all for joining us as we reflect on the most unusual of years. I want to start by expressing my appreciation for the many messages of condolences Bahrain has received from our British friends on the sad passing of the late Prime Minister. His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, a visionary leader and a true friend of the United Kingdom. As we mourn his loss, we know that his legacy will always live on in Bahrain's progress and development, and in hearts of all the Kingdom's friends. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that 2020 has been a challenging year for many reasons, most notably the COVID pandemic, which forces us to hold today's event online. But even in the face of all these challenges, our two countries' shared values shine through. In responding to the pandemic, for example, both our countries have made every effort to save lives and protect the vulnerable. So in Bahrain, our free and high-quality testing and healthcare is available to all. Regardless of nationality, we moved quickly to support those affected, including rehousing some expatriate workers and social distancing compliant accommodation. And we have provided an average of 14,000 free meals Per day for those most vulnerable. We have also worked closely with the United Kingdom to repatriate British nationals and I was delighted by the most recent announcement of a travel corridor between our two countries. Internationally, the signing of the Abraham Accords and the establishment of diplomatic relations with Israel has opened a new chapter of opportunity for our region and a real prospect of a lasting peace and prosperity in the Middle East. Recognizing that old ways have failed to achieve regional peace or resolve the Palestinian issue, Bahrain had the courage to chart a new path based on its long culture of openness, coexistence and dialogue. We are confident that a genuine warm peace will benefit all the peoples of the region and already we can see words being put into action with the establishment of direct flights, the availability of online visas, and the opening of embassies in the near future. Here, too, the strong continued support of the United Kingdom has been greatly appreciated and underlines the many interests of principles we share. In the coming year, as the world begins to recover and rebuild from the pandemic, our Bahrain-UK friendship will be more important than ever. With the new opportunities presented by Brexit, 
and with Bahrain assuming the presidency of the GCC, there is enormous potential to expand our bilateral ties in investment, tourism, trade, and so much more. And because international cooperation will be essential in the post-COVID world, I have no doubt that Bahrain and the United Kingdom are well-placed to fully deliver this potential. Ladies and gentlemen, despite all the challenges of last year, I am more confident than ever in the depth and strength of our country's friendship. And when, inshallah, we meet in person in 2021 National Day, I have no doubt we will look back and appreciate just how strongly we have bounced back from this terrible pandemic and just how much we continue to achieve together. Thank you.